welcome to today's uh, lesson. In this lesson, we are going to look at uh, blood transfusion. The general objective at the end of uh, this lecture or discussion, a uh, student should be able to gain an understanding and the knowledge of uh, management of blood transfusion. Specific objectives. Define blood transfusion outline the indications of blood transfusion, identify blood components for transfusion, state the special procedures for blood, uh, blood donation, describe the care of patient receiving blood, state the complications of blood transfusion, outline the management of complication of uh, blood transfusion. Uh, introduction. Uh, blood is defined as a straw colored transparent fluid in which different types of cells are suspended. This is according to Annie and Allison 2008. Blood provides means of communication. Uh, by prov provision of means of communication implies that uh, there are certain uh, material uh, uh, or blood components that are supposed to be circulated to from one uh, body part to the other. I, I can give an example of oxygen. So oxygen eh, travel through the same blood nutrients, they travel through the same uh, blood. So blood provides a means of communication between cells and other parts of the body. Then lost uh, blood from the body during trauma, uh, childbirth or surgery, may require to be replaced through blood transfusion. Blood transfusion is done in order to increase the capacity of blood to carry oxygen. So why is it blood transfusion necessary? It's important because it increases the capacity uh, of blood to carry oxygen. So if there is little blood, meaning uh, uh, oxygen carrying capacity is compromised. Secondly, to improve immunity, we know that uh, one of the components of uh, blood are white blood cells, which are responsible for fighting infections. Then restore blood volume. Okay, there must be a certain amount of blood that's supposed to be in circulation. Blood transfusion is the transfer of blood or blood products from one donor, the person giving, uh, to another directly through the vein. Indications, what are the indications for blood transfusion? What type of patients are supposed to, uh, 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 to be transfused blood or are supposed to, to go under transfusion, blood transfusion procedure? So, the indications, the reasons for blood transfusion, number one, to correct anemia. Individuals who are suffering from anemia, okay, resulting from cancer, uh, marrow, aplasia, uh, are supposed to receive uh, blood through blood transfusion. So bone marrow aplasia, we know that uh, uh, the, the bone marrow is responsible for production of uh, 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 blood cells that are responsible for production of blood itself. So someone suffering from cancer, there is depression of the bone marrow. Then uh, there is uh, severe veins to make up for lost uh, blood through veins. So people who have extensive veins, they bleed. So they lose both the blood and also they lose uh, water okay so they are prone to uh, hypovolemic shock so in that case we are supposed to uh, make up for the lost blood through the veins by transfusing then prevent shock in operations such as hysterectomy hysterectomy resection uh, you find that they are cutting a big organ okay so in this case you find that someone might bleed even to death so there must be replacement of uh, blood. Uh, to counter the effects of uh, hemorrhage and replaced lost blood, people uh, involved in RTA, road traffic accidents, 
some of them they breed a lot so it's important that your blood is uh, replaced then blood components for transfusion the following uh, blood components that may be administered we have war blood uh, transfusion where blood is given in form in, in form in which it is collected that is war blood then packed cells packed cells the transfusion of cellular components of blood after removal of plasma so once you get the liquid part you remove the solid part that remains that is uh, the cellular component it is called it rich it's rich in the cells meaning all the cells the platelets white blood cells and um, red blood cells they remain there so when you remove uh, uh, blood pl blood plasma the liquid part what remains are packed cells so this is the uh, mcq information multiple choice question information the name given to uh, the solid part of uh, blood that is the uh, packed packed cells then the name given to the liquid part that is the plasma so commonly used in treating chronic anemia okay anemia chronic anemia long-standing anemia and in cardiac failure so those are the types of uh, or components of blood so the next uh, uh, slide is talking about special donation procedures so i think we will do this at a later stage of Kenny cover this because we want to start from care uh, before transfusion so we can uh, go back slightly so we have a uh, special uh, special donation procedures we have uh, autologous transfusion blood transfusion in which the donor is also the recipient okay that is the auto self auto auto autologous a transfusion this blood transfuse uh, transfusion is safe as it eliminates the risk of incompatibility and blood borne uh, diseases like hiv and aids uh, one donates blood which will be given back to him later during the major operation when you are you are fine they get the blood from you they keep it such that when you undergo a certain major, major procedure they give you the same blood why are they getting the blood from you uh, you are healthy and you have more blood you are not losing so they can get and keep for you uh, such that when you go for a major operation uh, you are given back the same blood so it eliminates the issues of uh, uh, blood transfusion reactions and the incompatibility then uh, we have special procedure continues we have um, autologous donation a person donates blood before a planned surgical procedure i've explained see we have uh, homologous uh, the collection of blood from donor of the same species like human being to human being and may be distributed via blood bank so in the next lesson we'll be talking about uh, care uh, before transfusion what are you supposed to do as a nurse before you transfuse uh, blood which has been ordered by the doctor thank you so much for your attention